I've had quite a few comments on my YouTube video about the steering wheel from disgruntled Xbox One users, justifiably by the sounds of it, but XRocker have come up with this firmware update, which you can download by clicking on the link at the bottom of the description. I'll put the link to this page below in my description. Um, you need to download the zip file on a PC, and you need to plug the wheel into a PC to install the update. So hopefully you've been able to find some sort of PC or laptop, it doesn't have to be a fast laptop, you're not using the wheel on that, you're just finding something to extract the files, open them all up, and when you do that, there's three files provided, one of them is instructions for actually installing the firmware, another one is an updated manual, uh, or rather an updated extra page, I guess, for the manual that came in the box, and it gives you some extra instructions on how to set the sensitivity as well, which, uh, to be fair, the original manual does say that the send button on the front stands for sensitivity, but it doesn't tell you what to do with it, so uh, this manual tells you that as well as more precise instructions about how to connect it to your Xbox One. But this video is about the firmware update, so here's the Word document you get, and it just goes through how to open up the uh, firmware updater and how to use it to update the wheel. But it also crucially tells you what order to do things in. And what did I do? I didn't listen to this, did I? I had it all back to front. So uh, don't do what I did. Make sure that the wheel is unplugged. I know earlier I said, literally just about a minute ago, I said make sure the wheel is plugged into your PC, but no, make sure it's not plugged in when you open this program. Then you need to open the program, then plug the wheel in, then do the update. That, that should work. Just a warning that when you open it, it may say Windows protected your PC. You have to click on this bit and then click on run anyway to get the program to run. But yeah, as I say, uh, I realized after holding these buttons for at least a minute on at least three occasions that yeah, I'd, I'd done things back to front. So I, I'd done it the other way around. I'd plug the wheel in first, then run the program. As I said, don't do that. Unplug the wheel, run the program, uh, click on the Windows protected your PC thing, as I just showed you earlier, then plug the wheel in, and then actually, despite what the manual said, it came up straight away without me holding down any buttons at all. So the reason I've shown you this is that, yeah, it may be that you have to hold the buttons down and then the version number appears, or it may be that you don't, because I didn't have to, or it may be that the wheel remembered me holding down both buttons when I had it plugged in, and when I unplugged it, and plugged it back in again. I don't know. I, I, I don't know, but the firmware update itself was easy. You just click update, watch the bar go up to the top, and then it's done. As I say, unfortunately, I don't have an Xbox One, so I can't tell you whether it made any difference to me, because it didn't. I, it didn't ha an Xbox One didn't suddenly appear under the desk uh, as a result of this firmware update. That would have been nice. Um, but, yeah, hopefully this will help a lot of you who've been having problems, and it's free. You can just download it from the website. Obviously, it's free. I mean, you know, it, really, the wheel should have worked out of the box, but there's not much they can do about it. If there was a problem, there was a problem. They've fixed it. They've put an update out on the website for you to download just hopefully uh, you can get it plugged into a PC update it then put it back in your Xbox One and it should all be working perfectly fingers crossed